Hey everyone, in this occasion I'm going to show you how to make your very basic setup file to simulate the codes that, that we are currently seeing during the class. The first thing that we are going to do is to make a new project. So I'm going to click on File, New Project, choose the standalone project, click Next, then from the family we are going to use the advanced PIC18 family and we are going to search for the PIC18F45K50 then we are going to click next choose simulator next and then the compiler that must be the assembler MPASM and we are going to put the project name in here. I'm going to name it as first underscore pro. Then over the source files option folder, excuse me, then click the right mouse button to add a new file, new assembler file. In fact, choose simple ASM option. Then in file name, I'm going to put basic click on finish so I have now my empty file I will delete all this and I'm going to begin typing okay one two three tabs before and then I'm going to type include p18f45k50.inc in order to add the proper libraries and registers of that uh, microcontroller. I'm going to begin typing my instructions in here. Those instructions are going to the program memory locations. So the first location that my microcontroller will be reading is going to be location 00, zero hexadecimal so I'm going to instruct my microcontroller to begin in such location by typing origin and then 00, zero hexadecimal okay after that I'm going to type a jump go to start start is a label and such label is going to be located oops sorry is going to be located after location 20 hexadecimal and I'm going to I'm, I'm going to explain you this guys a little bit later but now I'm going to type another origin origin 20 hexadecimal and then here it is where my code begins I'm going to type a knock, no operation. Here at this point I'm going to put my label start. So after the reset, the first thing that the microcontroller is going to be doing is to jump uh, up to the start. Now I'm going to load a value into my working register, typing move LW. This is the value that I want to be loaded in my working register, 15 hexadecimal. Then I'm going to include another knob. Now I'm going to move my end instruction in order to be in line with the rest of the instructions in there. Then I'm going to build my program and let's verify if I have no errors okay it goes now I'm going to simulate this I'm clicking in pause here and then reset that's it I'm, I'm beginning in zero zero hexadecimal now I just jump to start I'm going to move my value Notice that in the upper part you see that the working register has now the 15 hexadecimal value. Okay, I'm going to stop my simulation. Now I'm going to clear the values 
in my working register type in clear f working register I'm going to load another value into my working register this is value da hexadecimal then a nope also notice that uh, in the lower part it appears a red code saying no source code lines were found at current PC program counter so in order to avoid that condition I'm going to type go to start now let's compile this okay oops I have a an error in here okay let's see what happened symbol not previously defined the a hexadecimal uh, and it is because if my assembler is treating the A as a label, I'm going to include a zero, and that's it. Let us compile this again. We have no errors, and then let's simulate. Now I pause this, I reset, and again. After the first, I have my working register with 15 hexadecimal. I continue, I erase my working register and then I load the A hexadecimal. After, I'm going to jump back to start. That's it. Can I stop? In some cases, I need to see the contents of some registers or some values that are stored in registers. And I'm going to do this clicking in Window, then Debugging, then Variables. So I click in here, then I'm going to type wreg. I'm going to build my program again and I'm going to simulate this one more time. Okay, pause, reset, step. I have 15, yes, and then zero. I clear my, my working register and then I have my DA. I jump back, 15, zero, DA jump back and that's it now I'm going to reserve uh, a space in data memory to put a, a variable that I already know I'm going to call this rec0 and by using EQU I'm going to reserve the location 00 in data memory not to be confused with program memory, I'm going to reserve another one, register 1 in location 01 hexadecimal and I'm going to move whatever I have in my working, working register to um, register 0 for example that's it And then, in order to see the contents of such register, I'm going to type register 0 in here. Next, I'm going to build this again. That's it. Oops, what happened? My register 0 just disappeared. Register 0 here. Oops, it is disappearing. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to right click in the folder of my project's name then I'm going to choose properties then in MPASM I'm going to find this build in absolute mode I'm going to activate this and then OK build this again now I'm going to delete this Rex register zero, I'm going to simulate, yes, that's it, that's it, pause, reset, step, in register zero I must have 15, oops, let me open this a little bit, now I have it, 15, I want to see this in hexadecimal only, right click in this space, not this, and uh, display value column as an hexadecimal. Now I have it. 
Okay, now I'm going to move this second value, 0 at the A hexadecimal, to my register 2. Okay, now I'm going to erase this. I'm going to clear my register 0. Uh, I don't have a register 1. 2, excuse me, so I'm going to correct this. That's it. Stop, build again. No errors. In here I want register 1 to appear. Build. Then the bug. I'm going to pause this. Reset, step into. I'm going to load 15 into my register 0, DA into my register 1, that's it. Then I'm going to erase them both, begin again, 15 into register 0, DA into register 1, and that's it. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Now you have uh, configured your basic uh, simulation fo uh, file, so let's use it for the next sessions. Thank you.